All right, people, let's get back into it. Let's get back to the Dean J TV show. I am Dean J. Now, my full name is Dean J Robinson. Dean J is my recording artist name. So, yeah, check out my music, Dean J LP. That stuff is jamming, people, but I'm not here to plug. I'm here to talk about this money gang. You know, this private cabal of bankers known as the Federal Reserve. Well, these mugs get to think up, imagine money out of nothing, but then they get to issue this imaginary money to the United States Treasury, and then the United States Treasury just starts spending this money, but they're indebted to the money gang for this imaginary stuff. But the debt is real, and the United States Treasury, the United States government, is able to do this over and over. Because the Federal Reserve says, look guys, you know, the money gang, they say, look guys, we will loan you as much money as you want. Keep cranking in those IOUs, those fancy schmancy treasury bonds that you guys are printing up. Keep giving them to us. The money gang will keep buying those because we know that you can never pay off the, the principal amount. We know you can never pay off this $13.7 trillion and counting. You know, you've got... You know, in interest alone, $200 billion a year, we know you can't pay the principal, but that $200 billion a year, well, we know you can keep paying that because you're going to extract that from your citizens. So we know you'll be able to keep up the interest payments, so just keep paying the interest, and we'll just keep piling up this, you know, this debt high and high and higher. And as long as your Congress keeps raising the debt ceiling, you know, now, you know, it's 13.7 trillion is where your debt is, where well, you're going to need a higher ceiling soon because it's going to be 15, 16 trillion. Yeah. But the Federal Reserve, they don't care about how much they lend out because the Federal Reserve, this money gang with Will Smith, with Adam Sandler, with Hugh Jackman, and Jay-Z is Rockefeller. Well, these guys get to dream up money out of nothing. Why should they care about how much they're dreaming up? because you're going to have a real, actual government saying, we're good for it. And how are we good for it? We're going to extract it from our citizens using the IRS. But yeah, people, that's not sexy. Mm -mm. It's not sexy. That's why I talk about Will Smith, Adam Sandler, you know, Hugh Jackman, and Jay-Z as Rockefeller, the money gang. Just pooling their cool, their international wealth, and influence to create a system where they can just make money out of nothing for the United States government and do it for decades. Mm -hmm. You know, so in this, this sexifying this up, I gotta sex it up so you like it. So yeah, we gotta bring some babes in. We gotta bring in some babes. You know, we probably spent too much money to bring in like Halle Berry or even Sandra Bullock at this point. No, we spent too much. So we'll have to bring in like, um, like Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway or this Rachel McAdams chick, yes. We'll bring one of them in, and they can play, you know, one of them can play the sexy female reporter. You know, she's going to be like, you know, Rebecca Jarvis from CBS News. Because, Rebecca Jarvis, you're fine, baby, and I'm single. You need to give me a call. Rebecca Jarvis, if you're watching this show on YouTube or wherever, you might be seeing it wherever. You might be passing through Fort Wayne. You need to give Dean Robinson a call. Here's my phone number. Just give me a call. Rebecca Jarvis, give me a call. You're a little honeypot, and that's who is going to be portrayed in my movie, The Money Gang? Well, it's going to be either Rachel McAdams or, you know, this Anne Hathaway playing Rebecca Jarvis. You know, this up-and-coming CBS News reporter who hasn't been corrupted yet, but in this movie, it's going to be, you know, this backdrop of TV news, but it's going to be just like the movie Showgirls. Yes, with, I think it was Elizabeth Berkley, where she does all the stripping. Yes, just, just as sleazy as that. But instead of a nightclub owner just trying to just seduce and just uh, corrupt this young lady, well, it's going to be the corrupt and sleazy news director. And we'll have that played by C. Thomas Howell. We're going to bring him out. He's going to be trying to corrupt, you know, Rebecca Jarvis. But she's going to get hit to this money gang. Because she's probably getting down with, uh, you know, Hugh Jackman as Warburg. But she's going to get hit to this money gang thing. She's going to get hit to it. And we'll probably have enough money to bring in Halle Berry. Because she's not doing much. She's not even in these, um, you know, these Tyler Perry movies. You know, for colored girls who, um, you know, who considered suicide in the rainbow. It's just not enough. You know, I didn't even see Halle Berry in that mug. You're going to have Janet Jackson looking like Michael in there. Yeah. So I think for the money gang, we can afford Halle Berry. 
and she'll be the girlfriend of Rockefeller, Jay-Z. Yes, and then she's going to be the one who's helping Rebecca Jarvis, you know, uncover this whole money game, this whole notion of, hey, this group of cool guys, this, this modern-day Ocean's Eleven, well, all these guys are doing is just dreaming up money out of nothing and then making the American taxpayer, they've got to pay for it. And then the United States government, well, they're going to use all this borrowed money, all this debt. They're going to use that to pay for all these wars and all this stuff in Afghanistan and Iraq and Pakistan where they're just killing people. Well, it's the taxpayer has to pay for all that, but they're not being represented by any, anybody or anything in the system, and it's the money gang making all this possible, all this mayhem. And so, yes, it's going to be Halle Berry. You know, she's getting down with Jay-Z. Is Rockefeller? Well, yes, yeah, she's going to be helping Rachel McAdams to uncover all this. But, yeah, but then Jay-Z, you know, as Rockefeller, he's going to have to off Halle. He's just going to have to, you know, hey, it's over when he finds out that he's just betrayed her. It's going to be kind of like in... Um, you know, swordfish, but a little bit different. I don't want to give away swordfish. But nonetheless, Halle, you really going to get off in this one. Because, yeah, Rockefeller can't have you helping Rachel McAdams as, you know, Rebecca Jarvis uncovering all this stuff for CBS News. You know, Operation Mockingbird can't have it. Mm -mm. You know, so Rockefeller, he's going to off, you know, the Halle Berry character. He's just going to off her. Yes, but then it's going to be okay, because since it's Jay-Z playing this character, well, then he's just going to make it some sort of sacrifice to Baphomet. Yeah, it'll work out just fine. He can just do all this stuff with his Freemason buddies, and he can probably put parts of it in one of his music videos. Yeah, so he can pimp all this imagery. So yes, people, that is the money gang. Hopefully it's sexy enough for you, I'm going to write, and direct this thing, again, a high-concept action comedy that's going to explain this Federal Reserve System in a sexy entertainment way that you can understand. Because it's entertainment. It's just a way to capture your imagination, to capture your mind. So if we can capture the mind, if we can capture the imagination with actually good, rational information, with some pertinent information that affects you in real life, well, if we can capture your imagination with that, and then you can work with that, well, then we might be getting somewhere, people. Yes, then maybe this entertainment system might help out. Yes, it might. But in the meantime, this entertainment system, no, it's not helping. Because what it is, is just part of a larger corporate system that's just keeping us all dependent. Yes, in many cases, keeping people sick. And so you're going to have this mainstream media largely driven by these fast food companies and you know like coca-cola just pimping all this uh sugar water like it's just so good for you like you just gotta have it because you're hooked on that flavor but you're gonna find all this fast food all this mcdonald's and rallies and burger king stuff well it's just junk there's no nutritional nutritional value there that's why they call it fast food because what do you call it if you're in one of these religions and you stop eating for a week or for a month for your Lord? Well, what do they call that? They're going to call that fasting. You're going to be on a fast. That means not eating. A fast. Not eating. So, when you have an encounter with fast food, well, that means not eating food. Fast food. Not eating food. Are you getting it, people? Are you starting to understand what's going on? These people are telling you openly, you're not eating food. Are you looking at yourselves, the ones of you that are just hooked on this McDonald's stuff, eating it all the time? Are you seeing the extra fat that you're carrying? Because McDonald's and this fast food, the not food, just pimping really good looking edibles and using fashion models to sell you this stuff, well, McDonald's, yeah, it, not real food. Just junk. Just giving you junk. Just nothing but a bunch of salt, sugar, and fat. Yeah, but we're going to talk about that on the next segment, people, because I've got to take a break. I've got to take a break. I'm Dean Robinson, also recording artist Dean J. This is the Dean J Television Show. I'll be right back.